What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel today. It's a little bit of a different video. I'm joined by my fellow podcast host, Eddie, for a little competition. So we're gonna go through the PRMC Raw Marines fitness assessments that I did seven years ago. See how we stack up against the minimum requirements, first of all, and then against each other. Just jumping on here to say, if this video gets over a thousand likes, then me and Eddie will go through the Navy SEAL fitness test. I'll rope him into it. He hates swimming and it includes a 500 yard swim. So give it a like. So former Royal Marine, civilian, who's wham, Fucking obviously. Legend. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna go through the following test. So 1.5 mile run. So we're gonna do a 1.5 mile warm up and then a 1.5 mile test. That's gotta be done in under 10.30 to pass and obviously we'll see what we get and comparing against each other bleep test that's got to be done to level 11 as a minimum and then whatever you get to as in until you'd be sick push-ups to the beep has got to be done for 40 reps and 60 being the maximum sit-ups 60 reps being the minimum 85 being the maximum and pull-ups three being the minimum 16 being the maximum how you feeling when I felt better. I've roped him in on this, <laughs> rather rather against his will, so do with that what you will. But we were off the back of, to give some context, we're off the back of marathon training. Uh, and I haven't really run since. Yeah, <laughs> Eddie's not really run since. I've probably clocked up a total of about six miles since, so we're, we're pretty out of the loop right now. So yeah, this mile and a half run might... Yeah, it's more the running that I'm fucking cacking it for. Really. Yeah, true. So we'll see how we get on. I mean, a 10.30 mile and a half is right around a 7.15 minute per mile pace. It's not rapid. But we'll just see. So I'll leave you there and we'll check in after our mile and a half warm up. Whew, off we go. Okay, cool. So there's the warm up done. 11.13 for that. So a little bit quick, but again, just wanted to get it done with. Like I say, so 10.30 is the pass mark for this time around. We're only 43 seconds off there, so I'm confident we can both do it. Now it's just about who wins between us two. Right, so unfortunately, because there's only two of us and we haven't got a third party to, ca to cameraman the second lap, one of us is gonna have to go first, one of us is gonna have to go second, meaning one of us is gonna have to do a mile and a half, rest a minute, and then do a mile and a half, as is done on the test day at the PRMC. One of us is gonna get like a 10 minute rest in between. Mm. So, in true Royal Marines fashion, how to settle a little bit of a debate, we're going to do rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Yeah, well, we, three, two, one, go. Or three, two, one, then go. Rock, paper, scissors, show. Sure. Right, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eddie's going first. Not looking forward to this, <laughs> I'll be honest. Right, ready? Eddie Rex, 1.5 mile test. Go. Three, two, one, go. He's off.
14, down, 15, down, 16, down, drop off. Love that, lad. Perfect. Woo. Guys, those three tests in the books. Pull-ups obviously went well. We both got Matt's score on that one. Almost to be expected. That's the one we practiced the most. Yeah. Sit-ups both need work. <laughs> Poor effort on my part, that. <laughs> Sit-ups, you got 51? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got 61, just above the minimum pass mark for me. Every other time I've done this test in my career, I've hit 85 sit-ups, so I don't know what the fuck's gone wrong That's here. Bad. I don't know how you've done that. <laughs> I don't know what's gone wrong. Yeah, push-ups, obviously you had the chest injury a few weeks ago, so can't really do much about that. Bleak test we're going to get to, however, that's the mile and a half run, push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, all done. The only one I think that we've come under on is your sit-ups, but yeah. I need to double check that uh, pass mark, because it does seem high, doesn't it? 50 sit-ups. Proportionally compared to the other two. Yeah. It does seem quite high. It seems extremely high. So we'll see about that. I think it might be a 50 pass mark. I might say that anyway, because then you pass. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll take that. <laughs> so sit-ups is the one to work towards. How, how are you feeling so far? What you, what's the body feeling like? Well, if nothing else, these tests give you a good pump. Yeah, they do. I mean, you've got back, back and bodies with the pull-ups. You've got your core good to go, and your chest and triceps with the push-ups. So if you want a good pre-night out pump, little 10 minutes. I was going to get say, the audio on. If you ever find yourself somewhere with not a lot of time and not a lot of equipment, yeah. Get those on YouTube, get a little pump going. Exactly. The other thing I'll say, we were talking about this before, a lot of times you get questions about people not knowing where they're at with the tests. We've just shown you how easy it is to test them yourself. Okay, you don't even need a track like we had to, to measure our distance. You just need a, an app on your phone. Go and do your one and a half mile return. Go and do your push up, pull up, sit ups. And go and do your bleep test. And then you know exactly where you're at and you've got something tangible to then go off for the next 12 weeks uh, of training or whatever, whatever you're doing. If this was me joining the core now or Eddie joining the core now, we'd know where we were and then we could set some work in place to get better. Uh, and obviously, now we know where our weakness is being sit ups, we could double down on that, right? Yeah. Uh, if anyone's, anyone is looking to join the military, then the top link in the description will be my military athlete academy. So go check that out uh, and you get some structured programming along with a lot of accountability from myself to stick to the program. Okay, cool. So, setup for the bleep test is, is achieved. I'll be honest. We didn't want to do this one, but for the sake of credibility and accuracy, we're going to do it. So we've set up on a slight incline, which is not ideal. We've measured out 20 meters. We're going to do our best to film and document the bleep test. We've got the GoPro up that end, this camera up this end. So you should be able to see us both times turning and the GoPro should get us all the way back in. So you should be able to see what's going on. I'll speed it up because it'll be boring to watch, um, but we'll let you know how we get on. The, I think the pass mark in 2016 when I did the PRMC was 11, which is fairly high. Pass mark now is like 10.3. Uh, I got 13.3, there's no way I'm going near that today. Uh, so we'll see how we get on. So don't set off too fast. Who ignores this bloke, you know? Level one. What's going on, so I'm just going to talk through the bleep test as you watch it. Uh, so you don't have to just sit there uh, and watch, watch through our, our bleep test, our pain. So you can see it starts mega slow here, it starts at uh, sort of a 10 minute mile really so you get 25 seconds or something per 20 meters I've sped this up so you can see we get all the way through uh, to about level 9 where Eddie starts to struggle and then I've slowed it down again um, so you can see his pain essentially so it's getting a little bit quicker here what we're focusing on doing and what I'm focusing on doing is turning on different feet so I'm turning on my left foot on one side and my right foot on the other side to give me some equal work throughout my my legs so i'm not fatiguing one over the other the other thing i'm kind of trying to do is keep my breathing nice and relaxed in these earlier levels i know it's not really that taxing yet i'm only running nine minute miles eight 30 minute miles whatever it is i can do that for a long period of time so i'm trying to keep my breathing super relaxed even though it's not quite the same as just running an eight minute mile because you're turning and having to re-accelerate but I'm trying to imagine that I'm just running conti continuously, nice momentum, um, and just con trying to continue switching my brain off and just getting through these earlier levels, which are quite boring uh, and don't really provide too much of a, of a physical fatigue. So you can see it's getting a little bit quicker here. We're obviously getting to the end of the track just as the bleep hits, so we're nice and in time. Eddie's trying to cut me up there, obviously trying to sabotage my, my gains. Um, we're looking at about level seven here, I would imagine, and 
we're starting to fatigue a little bit, right? So we've done the mile and a half already this day. So normally you do mile and a half and then you do the bleep test before you do the gym test. We kind of switch that around for whatever reason, just for convenience really. Uh, so it's slowing down again here. So this is where Eddie starts to struggle. So you can see I'm just about in front of him as we pass this last turn. He's starting to having to speed up out of the gate. That's never a good sign. We can see our arms flying everywhere, always a sign of fatigue. Uh, so he's struggling here. This is where he kind of comes off, I believe. So he's having to speed up there to keep up with the beep. And this might be one of his last turns. There it is. So there, there's Eddie done. I think that was about 9.9, 9.8, high nines anyway. I continued, felt horrendous at this point, but also knew that pass mark, as I said, was 11. So I wasn't going to stop until I hit 11. Uh, even though I was hanging and my legs just really turned to lead after this point so um, I wasn't feeling in a good place but I think again it's because I sent a mile and a half on the same day or within the same kind of two hours without any food so what what I was doing here is just counting down so I hit, it hit 10 it clicked over to 10 and then I was, I was like okay it's 10 shuttles now I'm going to count down my shuttles uh, I miscounted to be fair and only got to like level uh, 10.9 before I thought I was at 11 but anyway kept turning kept going kept going kept going until I finished then Eddie picked this camera up here and starts going off <sighs> bleep test is fucking horrible <sighs> look at this hat absolute running noise <laughs> don't be like him kids Smash chest instead. It's fucking way better. Look at him. Fucking what a beast. Start of level eleven. Feels absolutely sound up until like 9.3. My legs just turn to go, turn to like lead. Yeah, that's. And then you have to go faster, so it doesn't really add up. <laughs> Good to go, that. Alright, okay, I got 11.1 or something. 11.2. What did you get? I got 9. Oh, and 8, so 9, 10. Yeah, yeah. something like that. High 9s, low 11s. Job done. Just about hit the pass mark for me back in the day, which is weird because. Hit the same or similar one and a half mile time, but dropped off two levels on the bleak test. Hey, can I can I just caveat that performance by saying I haven't done the bleak test since like year seven? <laughs> so True. Cut, cut me some slack in the comments. This is the thing, right? So a lot of people ask me whether I should do specific bleak test work to get better at the bleak test. That was a decent innings. Yeah, just I haven't that. done anything regarding <laughs> bleak test specific work for years, and I haven't done it in about four, <laughs> 14 years. And yes, I'm fucked, but. We've, all we've done is running, yeah. and it's carried over into, for me, a level 11 on the bleak test, which is not half bad, so... The only thing I'd say you could work on is the transition. Turns. Turns. Because I think a lot, there's a lot of wasted energy in turns. Yeah, because as soon as you, like, drop all your weight on one leg, you have to yeah. re-accelerate, re don't you? Yeah, and there's, a, there's a bit of an art to that, but in terms of, like, specific training for it... Fitness-wise. Running is probably your best bet. It is progressive running for yeah. that, like... Runs where your legs are split, you start off slow and build, like, like the test does. But don't be just smashing the bleak test to get better at the bleak test. If I did this every day... You'd be fucked, lad. You'd have nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'd have no energy. Your calves would be in fucking tattered. Yeah. And you'd just be completely bored of training. So reinvent your training a little bit and do training towards the test rather than testing for the test, if that makes sense. Okay, cool. That is us. <coughs> All done. First exposure to the Royal Marines fitness test. How'd you get on? How'd you find it? Better than I thought, to be fair. I think you did pretty well, considering you know you've done like two months of basically nothing. Yeah, <laughs> two months of nothing. Uh, put no real prior planning into it. <laughs> just, just rocked just up. Basically rocked up after work and threw myself into it. So that. definitely room for for uh, for improvement, but not a bad first innings really. I reckon pretty good. So stores scores on the doors. Time fatigued. Messed up my words. Uh, mile and a half run. I did it eight twenty four. Rex did it in. 9.48, both passed there. Bleak test, I got 11.1, just about scraped it. Eddie got 
9.9, .9, a little bit of work to do there. Push-ups, I got 60, Eddie got 40, both passed. Sit-ups, 61 and 51. I think that's both pass. I remember one of our lads, to be fair, on that PRMC got like 30, uh, and he got taken through on risks because it's a point-based system. This was there was no hard and fast rules, so point-based system. So he did well on all, everything else. And then yeah, they saw the, the credibility in him, so they was like, you got to give him the benefit of the doubt. Almost. Yeah, and the PTI was like, mate, you're not making it through your course, weak as fuck. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, and then pull up 16 and 16 because we're both stackers. Uh, so smash that. So all in all, pretty good effort. The only only one was the bleep test really for you and for me to be fair because I was fucking blowing on that. Um, Mate, with a bit of work though I reckon I could bump that up easy. Yeah. It's like we were saying just off camera like if you do it in isolation not fatigued you'd yeah. be able to get it over the line but yeah. it's the cumulative effect of all of them back to back. Exactly and that's actually something to take away if you're going to do this and prepare for, for the test is you don't do them in isolation so if you're going to go and just do push-ups push-up test on your push day and then just do nothing else and you think yeah I'm good to go I've got 45 the cumulative effect, like you say, of all of them. So doing the bleep test, your central nervous system's fatigued. You then do the push-ups, and then you cause fatigue because you've held a plank for a minute, two minutes. Yeah. And then you've got to do the sit-ups. It all plays in, they all sort of affect each other, and that's by design. So if you're just thinking you're going to do one-off one off and, and be okay, it's probably not going to be the case. So make sure you do them in sequence if you're going to get a true representation of where you're at. Yeah, but, you, you want to mimic the real day as closely as possible, don't you? 100%. So it's worth noting as well at the end of this video that these scores are different now. So it's now the CPC or the Candidate Preparation Course. So you no longer do a mile and a half run. We just threw that in there because we're nails. And then you do do the bleep test, push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, but the scores are a lot lower. So there's, uh, so there's no excuses now. Exactly. Because you've actually got an easier ride. You've got an easier ride and he's just rocked up after work and two months negus training <laughs> and smashed it anyway. So uh, I think if you... If you're in like a good general physical shape, yeah, you should, with you a, should be with a bit of prior preparation. Uh, you do so. them and more than probably most people because you're exposed to me. So yeah, yeah. yeah. In and fairness, you know, I've just run a marathon. <laughs> and I, I've just run a marathon, yeah. so, so I'll maybe, say, I'll maybe say like normal that, physical. I say that I'm not in great shape. I have run a marathon, to be fair. But yeah, if you didn't know, he's run a marathon. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool. Okay, that's all for this video. Unless you think of anything else to throw in there, uh, but make sure you hit subscribe down below and hit a like because this one actually took quite a lot of effort. I didn't just sit in there and gob off for 10 minutes. Yeah, we, actually, dug, we dug out for this. That's, yeah, that's worth a like and a be, comment. It's got to be worth a comment and a like, even if you're just calling us hats. <laughs> yeah, and I, I am a hat, so yeah. I won't take offence. Rolls off a duck's back. Right, peace. See you in the next one.